Starting off the video, we are going over one of the most overpowered plasma rifles in all of Fallout 76 and one of the most overpowered rifles, the Slug Buster. Oh god, and they found me already. We're going to be taking out the automatic barrel, which is what I currently have, the flaming mod, which is absolutely insane, and also the sniper mod. But as you can see, I can absolutely destroy through these guys, okay? Come with that, me brother and dog. Okay, let me just blow off your face. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll also be going over the build for this weapon, which is absolutely insane because all you have to do is switch up the rifleman perk cards for the commando perk cards, and you can use the exact same build, which is just absolutely amazing. Now, let me just finish destroying these guys. Look at that. A 689 to the face. Holy crap. And the fire rate of this weapon is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, sir, would you like to taste the power of my plasma rifle? Of course not. What about you, sir? And they're all dead. Okay, who just blew up behind me? I was hearing something, and I did not mean to get in my pit boy like that. That kind of messed up things, but goodbye, you communist robot. And here today, I have for you one of my best friends in all of Fallout 76, Ben, the level 100 glowing behemoth that loves testing out my weapons for me. Okay, there we go. Look at his health already. Not bad. Not the best, but not bad. Let me just bat you in the face a couple times. Oh my god, Ben. I do not think you're going to be able to survive this. I'm sorry, my brother. What the French toast? And just like that, Ben is our goo. Now I've switched up the plasma rifle and have applied the sniper mod. And looky right here, we have ourselves a super mutant tyrant. There we go. A 1,000 straight to his face. But he was a level 50, so let me just get up here. There's a level 75. Oh, there's a level 75. There we go. Okay, 625 straight to level 75's face. Now, the only bad thing about the sniper mod is my ammo capacity. As you can see, I had around 20 when I had the automatic mod, and now I only have 9. Let me just make my way over here. That way we can find some more super mutants. Oh, supers, what are y'all doing over here? Oh, there they are. There's those mutant bad boys. Okay, we're gonna stand back here because we're a sniper. I didn't want to put on a good scope because, well, I'm using this in VATS, and it doesn't really matter. Plus, when I'm outside of VATS, I think this is easier to aim with. But let me just find this guy over here. Sir, I'm gonna need you to come out of the coffee shop and face my plasma rifle. Okay, there's three of them. Right, we're just gonna blast this one's face off first because I'm a bad boy and didn't take out the one closest to me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Again, this is not a sneaked weapon, so be very, very careful. Blast off that dude's face. And that one. And okay. Run, 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 run. Luckily, I built this build to be super tanky. So, these guys will stand absolutely no chance. And they can fire at us all they want, honestly. There we go. As long as we pay attention to the health. And don't just forget about it. Let me just get up here. Okay, sir. Let me just... Uh, Okay, that's stupid, but still. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. They're dead. Now let's move on to a bigger target. Oh, Ben, have you recovered from our last plasma fight? Let me just give you a couple shots to the gut like that. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to lock onto your face now that Tinderizer has a chance to kick in and everything. 868 to the face. 606 to the face. I don't think Ben is going to be able to stand a chance against this poor, poor plasma rifle, especially when I get the flamer mod on it. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. He's tanking it somehow. I do not know what was going on just then. His health was not dropped, but just like that. Ben is down for the count. We have now applied the flamer mod to the plasma gun, and watch how ridiculous this thing gets. Where did he go? He just instantly disappeared. Where? Oh, wait, oh god, okay. I'll stop joking around. But yeah, look at that damage. It's instant. Though you do not have like any range with it whatsoever, when you're up close and you're sneaking like me and use those vats, they're dead all day, every day. Oh, super means, would you like to taste my flamer barrel? And goodbye, sir. And look at the ammo capacity of this. It's like 300 compared to the other two. Completely ridiculous. This is one of my favorite guns in all of Fallout 76, especially with the flamer mod. That's why I had to save it for last, because we have to save the best for last, of course. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? We're just doing parkour all over the buildings to find you there we go is there any in here i see a red mark but i don't know where he's at oh he's right there let me just uh, lock onto that face just like that the super mean is no more now i'm getting attacked by a whole freaking army of these guys hey the range isn't that bad look at that oh we can't get him from here okay now if we get a little bit close there we go definitely the worst but that damage is the best what about you demolitioner would you like to taste my plasma to the face of course you would for the brotherhood we have the man the myth the legend the behemoth it's been Ben, I'm gonna have to blow off your face with this flamer, okay? And just like that, Ben is no more. As you can see, this gun is completely over-freaking-powered. Now let's get into the exact gun that I'm using, all of its mods, and my entire build. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is a three-star legendary plasma rifle that goes by the name Slug Buster that we use for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the 90% reduced weight, and it also has the VATS critical hits to do plus 50% to damage. This plasma rifle is insane. And the mods that we went with is the aligned flamer barrel, aligned sniper barrel, the stabilized automatic barrel, forceful stock, and the reflex sight. This is the Slug Buster 
Buster in all of its glory. Now let's get into my entire build. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game rifleman build and commando build that we use for the demonstrations. Starting off in strength, we have three, and this is looking to have traveling pharmacy maxed out. I personally do carry 10 against on me, so this card is necessary. Over in perception, we have 15, and this is looking to have tank killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% to armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We, of course, have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of our rifleman weapons. If you want this to be a commando build, all you have to do is swap these cards out for the commando cards, and you're good to go. We have concentrated fire maxed out. That's targets limbs, focus fire to gain damage and accuracy per shot. Over in endurance, we have six, and this so we can have ghoulish at one star. Radiation now regenerates your lost health. We have adamantium skeleton at one star. Your limb damage is now reduced by 30%. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, and max plus five to strength. Over in charisma, we have nine, and this so we can have lone wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have field surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and radway will now work much more quickly. We have tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in intelligence, we have three, and this so can have nerd rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in agility, we have 15, and this so can have action boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have evasive maxed out. Each agility point adds a plus three to damage and energy resist, max 45, no power armor. We have gun foo at two stars. Bet swaps targets on kill with a 10% and then 20% of damage to your next two targets. We have adrenaline maxed out, gaining plus 10% to max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at two stars. Avoid 20% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this so we can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have bed criticals maxed out. Bats criticals now do a plus 40% of damage. We have serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have ricochet at two stars. Gain a 12% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have four leaf clover at two stars. Each hit vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. And we have Starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats, and rat will never cure your mutations. This is it though. This is the in-game rifleman and commando build that we use for the demonstrations. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that help make my in-game build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at two stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, far flung fireworks at two stars, and follow through maxed out. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my mutations and my armor. Over in the mutations, these are all the mutations I'm using for the build and these mutations are the best mutations you can use for a rifleman and commando build as long as you add herbivore somewhere in there which i do not have sadly but we have adrenaline reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial scuddy skin and speed demon over in the armor what we're using is a full set of unyielding gear which is what i recommend you using also the reason being is because it says gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health and we're a low health bloody build so this type of armor is absolutely fantastic for you i also made a guide over the rare outfits in fallout 76 so if you want to check that video out i'll link it in the screen Right now, you see that? That is my rare outfit guide in Fallout 76.